What's the plan? Whatever it takes. We got this. So earlier this year, The Rock was fighting monsters, and now he's fighting skyscrapers. Let's go ahead and get into it. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Skyscraper starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I really do appreciate it. Now, when it comes to Skyscraper, I cannot say that this was a movie that I was just super duper excited about. Couldn't wait for it to be released. Um, you know, my expectations were mediocre, you know, but I am a fan of The Rock. Um, I liked him in Jumanji at the end of last year. I really had a great time with him in Rampage, which came out a couple of months ago, I believe in uh, April 17th or mid-April. Uh, and now we have Rampage. I'm not Rampage, excuse me, Skyscraper. And like I said, I pretty much love him and um, well, his his portrayal of a character and pretty much everything that he does. Um, now, I'm, I'm pretty sure you've heard the jokes that this movie is a reminder of Die Hard and uh, yes, it is a complete watered down version of Die Hard. And uh, I won't even waste any time there. But even if you look at the original uh, poster of the film and then you look at the original Die Hard uh, poster, you will see somewhat of a resemblance uh, from that original 1988 film. Um, now, what the film is about is um I'm going to say Chris Rock for some reason. The Rock, he has a family. Um, he is a security agent. He used to be a part of the armed forces, but he had an accident uh, while he was on duty. He lost his leg. Uh, and, you know, he has a prosthetic leg now. And uh, he's just a security advisor. So this this corporate um, this corporate gentleman wants to build this the highest building in the world, has all these amenities and things like that. All just is captivating. All the wonderful, luxurious things that you can think of are going to be impacted into this building but some terrorists come out of nowhere and they want to hold um everyone hostage and you know do a ransom and things like that or they have some type of nefarious plans which you won't find out and the rock just happens to be there and he has to save his family nothing wrong with that premise but when you watch the trailers you're just kind of saying to yourself okay this whole movie does just seem uh completely unrealistic um, it just kind of seems over the top, even with it being The Rock. You may not have said that yourself, but this is just kind of what I'm seeing. Even when uh, he's on that crane running across the top of it and he has a prosthetic leg and he jumps across. So going into this movie, I thought I just knew that it was going to be silly. I knew not to take it seriously. And... Um, and those are just the expectations that I went in and me having those expectations going into the film is pretty much what saved it for me. Uh, I'll talk about why in just a moment. But if you're going into this movie wanting a new age version of Die Hard from the late 80s, you will be strongly disappointed. This is uh, a textbook definition of a popcorn flick, something that you don't have to pay attention to uh, for you to really just get the gist of it. Uh, but some things that I did like is just the design of the building the building was cool um kind of seeing the outside of it you know i liked i you know i i, I thought it was fascinating uh but a complaint of mine that i have about the building is for it to be just so big and massive i kind of wish that we would have got to see a little bit more of it um there are um some nice elements that the film did reveal about the building and what it all can do some things you've seen before some things you've never seen before um uh, before it to be so big i did want to see just a bit more of um, of the building um, from oh, and one reason uh, another is this it, the whole thing just did not feel real at all it was just kind of just a big giant um, CGI rectangular bar in the sky uh, on the outside and on the inside especially towards the end of it uh, when all the mayhem is going down um, but let's talk about the characters now the rock for in my opinion for the most part plays the same character in every movie and that's not a gripe in my, you know, I, I don't have a problem with that. If you have a problem with that, that's, I feel that that's a legitimate complaint. But in this film here, I really did feel that, um, he was a different character, somebody that he didn't play before. Like usually in every rock film, he is extremely confident. 
You know, he steals the attention whenever he walks into a room. It seems like he just doesn't worry about anything, you know, unless he's falling from the sky or literally in the middle of a fight. But that's not what you got here uh, with The Rock in this movie. He is uh, he is unsure of himself. He is uh, somewhat doubtful. He is not the same 100 percent confidence that I am used to seeing in all these films. And that is not a knock. That is a praise of this film. Just something that I did not see before. And just kind of, you know, um, kind of just paint, just hit the nail straight on the head to flesh out his characters, especially given his condition that he did lose his leg in service. So, you know, I, I unfortunately thank God I still have all my limbs and I pray that I will until the day that I die. But I kind of got a sense of. You know, I don't want to make any assumptions, assuming that, you know, if, you know, somebody that has it doesn't have other limbs, you know, how they can be kind of down and out and kind of just, you know, feeling, um, you know, bad at from time to time. And I think The Rock did a great job there. Another character that I was really fancied of was Chin Han. Um, he was the uh, tech genius that built the building, the architect behind that and that fund, funded it all. Um, A's and gentlemen, if you don't know him from the past, he was in uh, The Dark Knight Rises. Um but he did a great job too I really did like his confidence in the film Rock didn't have any confidence but this character did have confidence there was also a, a big sense of mystery uh, to him as well I was just like what is up with his sleep even when it seemed like there was times in the film where he was supposed to be nervous and panic and just not know how to uh, react to the situation he handled himself quite well and just kept his composure and I would when doing that that just kind of stood out to me and I would just kind of say to myself okay man what do you have up your sleeve you know what i'm saying why are you not relaxed you know what i'm saying there are like terrorists that are infiltrating your building and trying to wreck shop like what's going on but he was just like hmm i know what's going on and i have everything under control you know what i'm saying and i, I just kind of did I, I i really did like that um nev campbell is in this movie as well if you didn't know her she's from the slasher movies uh scream which came out in the 90s and uh things like that and just a little note uh since i brought up scream that was the first slasher movie that I saw as a, as a, I think I don't know if I was an elementary or junior high that uh, broke me out of my scary movie um, uh, mindset I, I, there's still some scary movies that I won't see that has to do with possession but Scream uh, you know that was you know kind of um, bro, you know not a virgin anymore as far as scary movies is concerned like me actually facing my fear but anyway nev campbell is in this she is the wife of the rock and um she is just as hard as uh, he is when the crap does get to hit the fan and i liked her character as well uh another characters i like are the children you know usually children in movies can get on my nerve always doing something stupid daddy mommy save me and you know like you shouldn't have took your ass over there in the first place so just doing something crazy to piss me off the children in this movie did not piss me off i like them they were children but at the same time they were smart and you know given their age and uh the environment they were actually put in you know i actually like them in the movie they they kind of stood out to uh to me but um as far as everything else so i, I mean i like the characters uh i mean i like all the characters other than uh the main villain of the film that well i mean i don't i mean he's not bad but i'm just you know he was typical uh typical foreign um guy that they throw into this also something else is real cool Cool, but I like about this movie is um, there is a nice hand to hand fight kind of towards the beginning of this movie when things are getting ready to develop and it had rock the rock of course it had the rock in it but you know he did not have you know uh, he has a prosthetic leg and the way that they used it and choreographed this film I was very entertained by that you know what I'm saying like you know the rock is big and swole but at the same time like what can you do if you only have one real leg what can you do if the person you're fighting knows that you only have one real leg too you know how's that gonna turn out you know or they just a push over and it's a challenge for the rock because he's just so big and strong but he has a handicap or is it even more challenge because who he's fighting is actually strong and can fight too you know what i'm saying so it's like dang you know what i'm saying like not only is the rock fighting somebody strong but he only got one leg it's the way that they did that was very great um very very great i got that written down here and almost uh looked over it but uh so the, the characters are cool uh the setup is cool the execution i mean it is what it is you know what to expect well maybe you don't and i'm just telling you don't expect great this movie is silly as hell i mean I like just seriously it just like it tries to be self-aware but it's so blatantly obvious and kind of cheap and corny that i'm not going to accept it i mean it, it's literally they could they could have just named this movie 
typical action movie or typical action flick or typical, you know, hero saves the day because just some of the stuff that they wanted you to buy and just suspend your level of disbelief was just so ridiculous to me with some of the physical feats that The Rock was able to accomplish in this movie. And it was just other people that I was watching before I saw this, not reviews, just, you know, leading up to the film, just like, you know, they're laughing and just trashing on it. They're like, yeah, this is stupid. We still going to have fun with it. And I'm like, oh, sorry. I'm like, no, you know, this could be good. Good, but it's just some of the stuff and I was just like oh my gosh you know this is so silly or whatever but that's the thing though I still enjoyed it you know what I'm saying it's not so bad to the point where you're like oh my god this is effing ridiculous it's just like really y'all really I mean, it's just some of the points where like okay all I gotta do is uh, pull back the panel cut the wire and everything is gonna be fixed and it's like they actually had a scene like that I'm like you ain't no I mean like they're trying to like you know, set the rock up because he has like military fighting background and this and that, so he may know security. But it's just like really, I mean, it's just that easy. Just open the thing, cut. The, how do you know you cutting the white, the right wire? It's only four wires, and you know, it's just that that's just type that that type of thing, and just some of the stunts. It's just like it, it would. A lot of these action movies, you can probably say to yourself, that will probably happen. One time out of a thousand in a perfect world, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking like Mission Impossible. Nothing in this movie would have happened in real life. You know what I'm saying? They tried. I mean, the way they painted in this movie, like it would really happen. But it's like, come on, man. Like, I want to just say I want to spoil something so bad because it was just so ridiculous to me. But I'm sitting there. I'm still enjoying it. But I'm just like, this is so just silly and just crazy, um, you know. But we know. um, it was challenging to see The Rock get back into the building, and that's kind of just where things just did pick up. But uh, you know, when the when the the fighting between the humans itself was great. Uh, I mean, I don't want to say it was great. It was fine. It was it was serviceable. I liked it. It, it you know it it was to satisfactory standards. But uh, seeing The Rock play Spider Man all inside and outside of the building. It was just so unrealistic, um, you know, but I mean, you a lot of people already knew that going in. But if I'm if I with all that being said, guys, if I had to rate Skyscraper out of a one out of 10, I'm going to give this a six out of 10. Yes, a six out of 10. That is the lowest rating I can give this movie with it still being a positive as far as my scale is concerned, Um, because I mean, the film, it didn't suck. Uh, I wasn't bored ever in the film and I did like the characters and the action was decent, but it was just so unrealistic at times to where you just like, this is just silly. This is crazy. Like, I mean, you know, a, a lot of action movies can not happen, but this this they kind of just took it far. So I'm just going to give it a six because I still enjoyed it, you know, but hey, you know, six out of ten. But guys, that is just my opinion. What have you? Uh, what did you think about Skyscraper? Or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for Skyscraper starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.